I like to blow things up because I like to blow things up! Hey guys, welcome to another Only Figure Fans video. So today, we're gonna show you how to assemble and paint a Gonky Droid Kit. So thanks to Galactic Outpost 6 Singe, I received this Gonky Droid the other day. He designed the model and he also printed it. He did an amazing job modeling it. It looks exactly like he does in the show. Really, really fast shipping also. Link for his channel will be down in the description. So for the list of materials of things that we're gonna need is number one, one Gonk Droid set, Number two, some brushes. Make sure you have some thin brushes for the buttons in his face. Number three is some Vallejo paints. I got white, black, red, brown, and silver. And the last thing that you're gonna need is some super glue. So this is a quick and easy simple custom. Uh, I did my own interpretation of the colors. I know that in the show, Gonki is a lot more like sand colored, but I went more with like a copper beat up look. And you can do whatever you want. You want to paint it blue, you can paint it blue. You want to paint it pink, you can paint it pink. You can do whatever you want. So the first thing that I did was add a layer of gray paint. I mixed water with white and black paint. I did, I did pretty much like equal measures for each. And then I did like three coats of gray paint, waiting for the paint to dry after each coat. After doing each coat, I did a black wash and I also painted his ankles black. The area that I primarily focused on with the black wash was in his face, the parts where the buttons are on the side, all the crevices and events. So any type of place that you would feel would be the dirtiest, add the black wash there. After adding the black wash, we're going to start to assemble the figure. So the assembly part is really easy and it's, it's a pretty fun design. So you're gonna stick his little legs on top of his body and you're gonna connect the rest of the two main pieces. Uh, after you do that, you're gonna connect the face and after connecting the face, you're gonna glue the two knobs on the right side of his body. After assembly, I went ahead and did a light brown wash. I got this color by mixing white and brown, and also adding some water. The reason why I add water to the paint is to thin it out so it doesn't cake up and doesn't layer out in like a very big moldy way. For these next steps of layering, I didn't completely cover the figure with the paint because I wanted to add some dimension between each layer. So it goes from darker to lighter from to some dark spots, so yeah, it gives it like dimension. After doing the light brown wash, I did a dark brown wash. This was mixing the brown that I had with black and also some water. I did it mostly in the corners, the crevices. After that uh, dark brown wash, we're going to do our last wash, which is a black wash. So I repeated the same steps, doing it in all the corners, crevices, and adding it into certain spots, not fully covering the figure with black wash. After our final black wash, I went ahead and started painting the bebops. So I did the, the top bebop is white, the bottom bebop is also white, and the middle bebop is red. And these bebops are located in his face. I also did some orange detailing here and there. After doing the bebops, it's my favorite part. As you all know it, it's the silver scratches. By adding the weathering, you bring your figure to life. I took a very thin brush, I added a very little amount of silver, and I started doing fast strokes in some parts, especially the corners. And this is where you have to go full creative mode and decide where is your gonki gonna be scratched up. You want him really scratched up, you want him clean, it's all up to you. After combining all these steps, you're supposed to have a really cool looking gonki figure. Huge shout out to Galactic Outpost 6 Inch for designing and printing this great model of gonki. He's super screen accurate and the build was extremely fun. Thank you so much. I'm super happy to add another member to the Bad Batch. Now I'm just waiting on Echo and Omega. Probably when I get my Imperial Crosshair, Echo and Omega, I want to have a big lineup of all my Bad Batch figures and do a showcase on the channel.
So thank you all very much for watching the video. Uh, for our next video, I'm still debating on what we're going to do, but we might do a Delta Squad custom figure showcase. And in the future, I would want to do a Scorch tutorial because I know some people ask for that. But yeah, stick around for the next videos. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a beautiful day.